love bugs is Rosalind back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning self my growing extended beautiful family thank you for just sending me blessings all the way around as I send you blessings you're sending me you know uplifting vibes as I do the same for you you're just allowing me to you know just add a piece to your life add a piece to the puzzle of your life and you know it's a beautiful thing that you're allowing me to do that so thank you so much but with that being said my love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift that has been placed upon you and then you know sent you towards a positive direction or if you see the video just gave you good vibes or just been very informative to you felt like that you want to share with a loved one a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites so thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and the music I'm listening to today is a track positive energy 639 hertz raise positive vibrations bring positive changes and binary beats and I'll post that link in the description box below and the video I'm doing today is twin flame 101 impasse we're stopping the negative cycle we're stopping the negative cycle so many of us have went through childhood trauma or just you know even as being an adult teen or you know young teen or whatever you've been through something very traumatic that you are probably still coping with is growing up you know growing up towards an adult or even as an adult you know I've been through so many things that I've healed from and I'm still you know learning to deal with you know I don't want to say coping because coping is like putting a band-aid on a broken broken leg that does not work you need to deal with it and let go and it was just like, you know, looking at the cycle I've been through, I've seen how it, it, it happened in three generations with me. With my adopted father and his father, you, you know, he went through a lot of abuse and he told me his father went through a lot of abuse. So, you know, we used to always constantly get into arguments and I used to tell him, you know, if this, how did this make you feel when you went through these things with your father? And, you know, he wanted to, you know, book town as soon as he was, you know, had that legal age to leave, you know, like a lot of teenagers do. It's like, oh, I can't wait till I turn 18 so I can leave home. My parents is getting on my nerves. And we always get like that. But with his, it was like really bad. You know, it was like nothing was never good enough for his father. So, you know, he turned around and had that cycle, you know, done to him. And then he turned around and had that cycle done to me. And even my biological father, he went through a lot of abuse growing up, you know, um, which was really hard to hear uh, growing up and hearing a lot of things that, you know, me and my, my father, you know, familiarized with, you know, getting kicked out of the house when he was 12, I was 14, you know, going through mishaps with your parents and, you know, feeling neglected by your parents and stuff like that. We both felt that way. So it's just like when I see myself and I see my children and, you know, I have to really watch what I say because it's like, you know, I was really you know my parents really got me with verbal and it was not as much as physical towards the end you know when before my parents got a divorce or heading towards a divorce it got physical towards the end but it was just like I had to stop that cycle you know I never wanted my children to experience the things I experienced but even though they have had their little taste of it just from the things that I known the things that I hid from them the things that I had to cope with that I wasn't really dealing with and letting go so if you're dealing with things you know and you have children and you know that you've been through things and you might see a pattern you you know you have to be able to cease and desist on those things you know we're, we're heading towards positive directions and we don't need that negative energy in our lives we don't need that negative cycle that you know can bring unhappiness and you know malicious energy towards our life we need to be able to heal from the things that you know that has caused us so many you know pain and sorrow so much pain and sorrow you know and I had to really step outside myself even though I got angry trying to figure out you know why would my parents do this to me why would 
you know, you have to be, you know, they always say hurt people hurt people, you know, and it's just like you, you have to really go and do something really jacked up for you to be able to put your child through something like this, you know, and I had to really understand it and have to gain peace of it, you know, even if I wasn't able to make perfect sense of it, I know if I couldn't do that, I had to make peace with it anyway because it wasn't going to hurt them as much as it was going to hurt me because that gives them that power over me of staying mad at them being angry and trying to let things go and that was really hard <laughs> that was really hard for me to have to do because it's just certain things that you don't have closure over and people don't want to come clean for you know I have to get that sorry I never gotten from them even when they're not sorry because I need that peace in my heart and if you're going through things whether or not they even you know sent you an apology or try to tell you you, you know, I apologize for hurting you the way I hurt you. Just, just take that forgiveness and make peace with yourself. You know, even if you can't make peace with them, you know, and it, it was just like, I had to tell my adopted father when he had, you know, sent me a referral request, you know, I had to really catch myself because it's just like, you know, even when somebody's trying to touch a nerve with you, you know, they, they still got you if they see that you still picking and picking, you know. I let them know, you know, look, <laughs> if you're not coming clean about the stuff that you've done, you know, there's no longer, you know, we don't need to be in each other's lives. You know, that's not healthy. It's very toxic. You know, when, when you letting, letting the down, you know, letting the law down, when you're letting people know this is the reason why I'm not talking to you, you know, if you really have to go into steps like that, because some people act like they're kind of slow. So you got to break it down. This is the reason why. You know, and even though I know you ain't stupid, but I'm about to break it down to you like you're stupid because you obviously you don't understand English. So I had to break it down and just let them know, you know, but it's just like I can love you from a distance. You can love them from a distance, too, you know, even no matter how much it hurts. But it's just like when you're on to something so positive and so great that's coming forth to your life, that's where our energy needs to be focused on. Not all the things that has been brought up into our lives that has hurt and hindered us for so long. Because that, that's why I look at the things as like, even with me being angry about all the things that's happened, is this going to change anything? No, it's not. The only thing would be changed if somebody would actually be honest. But since I already know that's not going to happen, I have to be able to just let that go. I can't change them, but I can change not being around them. I can change not to interact. Just block them out my life. You know, that... You know, I, I just need peace in my mind. I need peace in my heart. You know, you need happiness. And it's just like can't carrying over that all that anger. You know, because a lot of people wear that as an accessory. You can walk around and be... You know, I've seen people that have this look on their face like somebody done slapped them with some dirty socks. Or they've been sucking on lemons all morning because they've been sitting around here angry and bitter for a long time over something they cannot change but then when we focus on our energy on stuff like that it blocks us from the blessings that we have coming in our way and I have to I'll tell you I tell y'all I gotta tell myself this all the time you know don't focus on those things you cannot change these things but these are the things that you're changing for the future look at all the positivity you're bringing towards the forefront for yourself and other people focus on that don't focus on the things that's going to give you a headache and you have to really tell yourself that so please if you have a, a negative cycle going on in you and your household go ahead and stop that before it starts on with the next generation you know we got life is too short we, we're here for a purpose and it's not here to be upset and mad and angry and miserable we're here to bring joy and positivity to our lives no matter how crappy this world is we gotta have something good come out of it so i hope you were able to resonate with this video like and subscribe even hit the notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video give me a thumbs up like and even share on the social social media favorites or even drop me a line i'm trying to say stuff too fast drop me a line i would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed and you are truly that you are highly favored truly loved and know there's always somebody out there praying for out, out there for your better days so i will see you on my next video i hope you have a lovely relaxing weekend and i'll see you on my next video much love and light and positivity namaste peace and be wild